Welcome to this quick tutorial on the different methods of uploading documents into SharePoint document libraries. So there's a number of different ways you can upload your documents. Uh, we've got a sample document library here and probably the easiest way of doing it is using the Windows Explorer view um, or dragging files from your desktop. So we've got a folder here and inside it there's some files. If I highlight those files and just drag down with my left mouse button and drop it into the browser, you'll see the files get get um, uploaded to that automatically. Um, another way of doing it is to upload um, files individually by clicking on the upload button, selecting an individual file, and then it uploads uh, straight into the document library. So it's a bit more time consuming, you have to do files one by one, So in addition to those two methods, there's also some that are particular to Internet Explorer, and that's Windows Explorer View. You need to be using a Windows machine, Internet Explorer, and also you need this WebDAV client uh, service enabled. So back in the document library, we click on the library tab at the top, and then open with Explorer. So this sometimes takes a few seconds to load and then you get the explorer view of that document library. And we can you can drag and drop even folders, whole folder structures into this library and then upload it directly into that SharePoint document library. So once that's uploaded into there, we can see it's inside the explorer view. If we go back to a browser and refresh a page, you can see those files have successfully uploaded into SharePoint. A newer feature that comes packaged with OneDrive for Business is this sync option here. So you can sync it to a folder on your desktop. So I've just clicked on the sync button and um, it then pops up uh, with my location of my OneDrive and I can just press uh, synchronize now and that will add an extra folder in the SharePoint folder for this particular document library. And then synchronize the whole contents of this folder um, from SharePoint onto my machine and then if I add to it on my machine it also adds to it in SharePoint. So if I click um, it opens up an explorer view and I can again just drag and drop folders into there. It could be whole folder structures again and you'll see that it synchronizes once a green tick has appeared on the folder. So if you've got a lot of files it might take a while to synchronize these. Once they've been synchronized you'll be able to refresh your browser and you'll see in your browser those files are now inside the document library. And if you delete them from your Explorer view, they'll also delete inside um, the library itself. One thing to take into consideration is the large amount of storage that this could possibly use because it has to synchronize the whole contents of the document library to your machine. So if it's sev several gigabytes, then that's quite a lot of bandwidth being taken up uh, with the files being downloaded and storage being used on your machine. 